What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. The Saints signed Tyron Matthew, a.k.a. the Honey Badger, and this team looks scary. They look like a possibly a dark horse contender, and I'm going to explain why. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But let me explain why I think the Saints are like a legit, I don't even know if they're a dark horse. I think they might be a legit contender because they've got such a deep team. Like overall, the team is deep. So I'm going to start with the offense and why I think the offense has improved and why I think the offense should be probably feared by a lot of defenses. Jameis Winston can make plays as long as he's healthy and his knee is back and everything like that. We saw what he could do with the Saints last year. He does a good job, and it's I think you can win with it. That's why I think that's all that matters. I think you can win with it. It's not Ian Book. It's not Trevor Simeon. Like He's a, a decent, solid enough quarterback. I think he's kind of like maybe a little bit above Kirk Cousins, somewhere in that kind of range. Then you have Alvin Kamara, who's a top five running back, right? We all know how dangerous he is because of the limited weapons they had last year and the injuries. Defenses were literally putting three or four guys on him and not worrying about anybody else. Now you can't do that because Michael Thomas is back. His ankle is, looks to be healed up. And last we saw him, he was a top five wide receiver, possibly top two or three, maybe even the best. Last we saw him. The dude's a legit stud. There's a reason he got like the biggest contract in receiver history when it, when it was announced. I like him. And then obviously, Chris Olave is the guy you drafted, I think, at the 11th pick in the draft. He's going to be a star. I'm going with that one. He was literally one of my two or three favorite players in the entire draft. I personally wanted my Chargers to draft him. Saints swooped him up, and I can see why. He's a great route runner, has burst, can make plays. He's going to open up the field for Michael Thomas, and then he's definitely going to open up the field for Alvin Kamara. And all three of those guys together are going to open up the field for Jameis Winston. So the team is going to have more, more toys on the field, more weapons and a, probably a higher powered offense, which is what they needed last year. Cause even without it, they were still like, uh, did they make the playoffs? I, I don't remember. I think they missed the playoffs by a game or something like that, but they were still right there at the end with, with no quarterback for half the season, basically. So I think, you know, getting all these weapons and Jameis back healthy, it's going to help. The offensive line is solid. You got Andrews Pete, you got Ryan Ramchek. If Trevor Penning can get coached up, maybe he can be turned into a pretty good tackle. You know, they've got, they've got a decent enough O-line to make it work. They're not like world breakers or anything like that, but they're not the Bengals or anything from last year. So I think the offensive line can, can hang. And, you know, getting all that firepower, Marquez Callaway is in a different spot now. Traquan Smith's in a different spot now. The, the roles are different, and they're probably more suited for every player. So I really like what the offense looks like. The defense in particular, I, this defense is probably going to be top two or three in the league, and they're going to be – and it's, gonna, it's probably not going to be all that close. Like I think they're going to be one of the best – that we've seen in, in a long time because they have playmakers all over the field. Cameron Jordan's been a star for years. Marcus Davenport is really, really good opposite him. Uh, Paulson Adebo as a, uh, pr you know, prospering corner next to Marshawn Lattimore, who's already a top five corner, depending who you talk to. He's definitely in the conversation. Uh, Demario Davis is a monster at linebacker. One of the best coverage linebackers in the entire league, you know, like they've got playmakers. And then I didn't even mention Marcus May who, if, I think he I think he had a knee injury if he comes back healthy. We saw what he was on the Jets before. He's a really, really quality safety. And even if not, P.J. Williams is still a good enough safety behind him to where, you know, you have a little bit of depth right there. And then, of course, you sign the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, who's been one of the best safeties in the league for the last, you know, several years. So the secondary is probably going to be in the top two in the entire league. Like, they've got playmakers everywhere in that secondary. Uh, the linebacking core – Decent enough. Demario Davis elevates them. And then the pass rush has always been there. So I really, really think that the Saints team can really be somebody that can be there at the end. And I think that's all you can ask for. Jam Jameis Winston is obviously the biggest question mark, his knee and his health and everything like that. Uh, how he meshes with Michael Thomas. Obviously, there's still certain question marks. This team on paper to me looks like somebody. I was thinking about the NFC and I was like, who who are the teams that you would, you know, really be worried about? Like for a Super Bowl run, obviously the Rams, they won, uh, the Bucks, And then, you know, there's so many question marks after that. And I was like, the Saints, you know, they had a really, really good off season and Jameis will be back. Like they were good when Jameis was playing last year. So, you know, I thought about it and I was like, that, no, this team is legit. And then I looked at the death chart. I was like, oh my Jesus. Yeah, they are. They're here. Like, you know, health permitting and everything on paper. I think they look like possibly a, a three, a top three team in the NFC. I think that's where they could be. And I would not be surprised if they finish as a one or a two seed on top of that. I think they're definitely going to make the playoffs if they stay healthy. Of course, that's always the biggest thing in football. Uh, 
but it looks really nice. Saints fans, let me know how you feel. If you like uh, how your off season went, if you're happy about Honey Badger signing, uh, if you like Trevor Penning as a pick, how you feel about Chris Olave, if you agree with me, if you think he's going to be a star, because I really do. Uh, how you feel about your new coaching hire or whatnot. The off season has been a lot of turnover, but I think, it, I think this team looks <clears throat> super, super talented and should be feared. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy that kind of content, please like the video. I really, really appreciate it. It helps my channel a ton. If you want to interact with me on Twitter, uh, I've been talking about a lot of football stuff lately, especially the draft. I'll put my Twitter like right about here somewhere. Uh, yeah, man. Saints look dangerous. They look dangerous. I'm done here. Peace.